of mine, everyone. So today I'm here in El Nido, which is probably the most popular tourist attraction here in the Philippines. I just wanted to start the video off here to show you the hostel that I'm staying in. So you can see, this is pretty much like a little box. I've never stayed in a room this small before, but it is a private room. It has very limited internet, like a lot of the hostels we've been staying in. So this was 13 US dollars a night for the both of us, and we're gonna be spending three nights here. All right, so you can see here, straight from the hostel, you have the iconic limestone rocks that you see all throughout Southeast Asia. Gonna be seeing a lot of that around here. And now we're gonna be heading to the beach because we're gonna be doing a boat tour. We're gonna do a boat tour today and tomorrow. And today's tour, I think it's gonna be a thousand, it's 1,200 Filipino pesos, and then you have to pay $200 each for um, an environmental permit or something. So in total, it's 1,400. I think that's about like $28, $27. So we're gonna be heading there now. So we've just come down to the main beach here now. See some pretty nice views as well. And you can see all the people here just waiting for the tour. Forgot to mention the tour we're gonna to be doing is Tour C. So we should be heading out soon. Hello, good morning. Hello. Are you going for Tour C? Yep, so over there. Channel. Okay. So I didn't expect this. You gotta walk to get to the boat. So we've arrived at the first beach. It was a bit of a rough start because, um, yeah, we basically had to wait like an hour. We left an hour late, so we were just sat on the on the boat for like an hour waiting. But yeah, we've arrived now. It was about 20 minutes to get here. So you can see here, we've got this gigantic, spectacular like limestone rock all the way around as well. Yeah, pretty awesome scenery. I don't know if we're gonna go in, right? Yeah, I don't know. The ocean's a bit rough. But yeah, we might save the snorkeling for a bit later. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this place is called Helicopter Island because it's shaped like a helicopter. to the far left side of the beach now it was very busy on the main part just full of tourists and boats everywhere here's a bit more relaxing so i don't know how long we got here i think he only said like 45 minutes and then yeah i think we're gonna head to three more Apparently it's behind this huge rock here. See people going under here. Let's check it out. Found your little cave. Oh, we gotta go that way. Yeah? Yeah? 
Well, this is awesome, right? Look at that, guys. Beautiful. What do you think, Carol? Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, this place is really stunning. Carol had seen some pictures of it. I'd never even seen it properly, so it's all new to me. But yeah, this looks amazing. Whoa. Water is beautiful as well, right? Of the beach. So beautiful. I think this is one of the nicest places I've ever seen. Same for me. It just looks amazing. We gotta head out now. It's a shame that we couldn't stay here longer. I mean, I'd love to just come here and stay the whole day here even, but yeah, what can you do? And I think now we're gonna be heading to another island to have lunch. Now come to this tiny little beach. You can probably see it over here. Got no idea what it's called, but this is where we're basically gonna be eating now. And uh, yeah, just some of the views just riding around on the boat are just absolutely incredible. I mean, check this place out here. Some unreal views. Unreal, Carol. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. What the hell is that? <laughs> And I think I'm probably gonna fly my drone now. I didn't have much time on the other islands, but I think we're gonna be here for like an hour. So yeah, it's a good time to do it. the food that they include we've got like some fruit here some fish rice more vegetables what's yours pretty chicken. much the same right yeah, chicken, chicken pineapple yeah looks pretty tasty how is it it's good like it is yeah. all right let's see how this is the fish was really nice really tasty the fish has been nice on all the trips actually it's always like really fresh fish so the three boat tours it was always really good fish and yeah I still can't get over this place really like whilst I was planning this trip I saw so many videos of these kind of like um, this kind of scenery and stuff but seeing it in person is just completely different um, you just get a sense of like how big it is only when you're in person you can't really see that in a photo or video so yeah this is just um, pretty insane stuff here got some pink jellyfish here it seems. Check this out. The jellyfish are everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I, but I don't think they stink. No? The pink ones? I've never seen a pink one before.
tunnel to get there let's see how it is <laughs> man that is definitely not a secret right <laughs> somebody's been spreading secrets yeah this place is just way too busy to be any fun right <laughs> there's too many people here that is what you call a tourist trap right there. This place empty must look beautiful though, right? Yeah. So they're giving us a choice of checking out some church on a beach. I think you gotta pay for it though. Or just snorkel around so we can look at a snorkel for the first time of the day. for the time yeah. we lost at the start and they had told us that it would be like 45 minutes to an hour on each island and somewhere it seemed to be even like 30 minutes right yeah. so I think because they were late they were trying to like remove our time so we never really got to relax properly did we at each place it was like you'd get there um, like when, when we'd arrive it would be like 10 20 minutes and you'd have to leave so we really didn't like that so we don't know if that's just the tour we did it with. Where is the tour anyway? Do you know what the company's called? El Bakwi. I don't know if it's just them or if all the tours are rushed, but I've got a feeling that a lot of the tours might be rushed because, uh, yeah, we saw all the boats. All the boats were going with, uh, like, at the same time as ours, so. It was very crowded. All the places were very crowded and like, too many tourists. Yeah. I didn't like that. Yeah, so we. I mean, we did uh, we did find it like mind blowing the scenery, and we still think it was worth it just to see for the one day. But it kind of made us decide that we don't want to do another tour tomorrow, and we're just gonna do stuff here on the mainland, go to Nakpan Beach probably. But like I said, I think for just to go on a first time, it's still still worth it, right? Yeah. I've never seen scenery like that before, so it was some pretty incredible stuff. But, but just be prepared that it's gonna be like too crowded and. Yeah, just to have those expectations basically like don't don't think you're going to relax It's not a, it's not a relaxing tour. The other ones we did the other days were more relaxing We had like an hour and a bit on each island, but this one wasn't a relaxing tour <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> that was funny <laughs> Random kid out of nowhere Anyway, so yeah, like I said, tomorrow we're gonna go over to Nakpan Beach. So drop us a like, subscribe if you like to see more videos from us, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>